In this video, we're going to learn how to make appointment slots for parent-teacher conferences. So we're going to make Google do all the work for us, basically. You want to go to your calendar. So once you're in your calendar, you want to make sure you have it on weekly view, which would look like this. Normally, my calendar looks like this. But it's hard to do appointment slots in a monthly view, so you want to come up here and switch it to weekly view. You could also do daily view, but I kind of like having both. I'm going to work with both dates at the same time, so I'm going to have mine in weekly view. Then you're going to go down to your other calendars, and you'll see a little plus button down here. We're going to create a calendar that is only Mrs. Carlson's calendar. That way, um, it's not in my personal calendar. I'm only going to send them the link to this appointment calendar. So I'm going to create a new calendar. I am going to call it um, Mrs. Carlson's uh, Parent Teacher Calendar Teacher Conferences. Okay. Um, you can add a description if you want to. I'm going to hit Create Calendar, Calendar Creation in Progress, it tells me. And then it says Mrs. Carlson's calendar was created successfully. I wish it would just kick you right back to your calendar page, but unfortunately it doesn't, so you have to hit this back button. Once I'm here, I now can look at my calendar and I'll see Mrs. Carlson's parent-teacher conference calendar. All right, now we are ready to create some appointment slots. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on October 26th, because that's where our parent-teacher conferences are, and I'm going to go to the 4 o'clock range and I'm going to click right in it. From here, I can now manipulate a bunch of stuff. So I am going to go to appointment slots and I'm going to click on that. Now, very important, please make sure that this calendar right here, right now it's default, it defaults to your personal calendar. So make sure you go find your calendar. So here's my Mrs. Carlson's parent teacher conference calendar. I click on that it turns it green. So notice this is green. Notice that my calendar is green. Yours will be a different color. Okay, um, I've done this like five or six times just to test it out and every time I make a new calendar the color always changes. So it's whatever Google decides is the color of the day for your calendar. Now I can go up here and I can change the time. So I can actually um, manually change the time I am going to change my time to 550. I'm going to give myself a little 10 minute break. So I have talked to the principals and they said, go ahead and put in two 10 minute breaks to get your mind fresh again, go to the bathroom, grab something to eat really quick, take a drink of water, get caught up, whatever. So I'm going to tell it it's four to 550. Then I'm going to tell it that I want it to be in 10 minute increments. All right. Um, then I'm going to add a title up here. So I have to add a title up here. I'm going to call it Mrs. Carlson's Parent Teacher Conferences. Okay, don't forget the title. Otherwise, it'll show up blank on their side. Um, this More Option button down here, this is where you can get the calendar's appointment page. Or I can just send it to guests if I want to. So I could click on this and it would take me to my calendar appointment page. I'm going to go ahead and click save so it saves all this information. Let's say I made them. Um, I'm going to now go make one at 6 to, um, I'm feeling pretty jaunty. So I'm going to go to appointment slots. I have to title it again. Okay, so Mrs. Carlson's, you can have the same title, parent, teacher, oops, learn to spell, teacher conferences. Okay. Um, I'm going to change this to 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to change this to 10. One more time. I'm going to change my calendar because notice these two don't match. I'm going to go to Mrs. Carlson's Parent Teacher Conferences and I'm going to hit save. All right. So now I can go to this appointment page. So I can click on it and I can say go to appointment page and I'm going to grab this link. Right now, it looks like there's nothing there because we're on the 7th. So if I click through and I get to the 26th, there's all my appointments. No one is signed up for them right now because it only says Mrs. Carlson's appointment pages. So we're going to flip over to Fred. Fred's been a busy guy here. Um, we're going to go to Fred. Fred's going to look at his calendar 
and it says on the parent side there are no appointment slots available for this time range because notice it's whatever week we are in it's going to bring that one up automatically but they can click on next available appointment slots now fred can choose from any one of these and notice there's a break in there because that's that break i put in but they don't know that's a break they just see there's no slot available there so fred's going to go ahead and choose let's see fred's going to go for um, 640 to 650. So Fred clicks on here, it automatically puts Fred's name in there. Fred just has to hit save. Once Fred hits save, um, that slot now disappears. So there's no slot right there anymore for that. So Fred's slot has disappeared. So only they can only sign up for um, a slot no parent should be able to pop over on top of it. So back in my world, if I hit refresh over here, and I go to my next available appointment slots. Whoops. I go to my calendar and I hit refresh. Too many windows open. Here we go. So Fred, I can see Fred right here. Somebody signed up for this slot, which is perfect and what I want to do. But it gets a little confusing and they're going to stack on top of each other. So if I go up here to schedule, slick a little thing, up here I can see that Fred has signed up already. So on the day of parent teacher conferences, I would actually switch to my schedule view because here's the slick part. We've arranged for Google to automatically make a Google Meet link and send it to the parents as soon as they hit that I've signed up for this slot button. Okay, so you will click here and you can say join with Google Meet. So you can just stay on the schedule page and just go do, 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 and join with Google Meet. Each one is going to be a separate Google Meet. And the reasoning behind that is because we don't want parents coming in while you're talking to another parent. So for privacy's sake, you're going to have to have 48 Google Meets or however many Google Meets you need, which is a pain because you have to open a new Google Meet every time. But for privacy's sake, that's what we're going to do. So you just hit join with Google Meet. So schedule, way cool on Parrot Teacher Conference more a night because it'll just line them all up. On Fred's side, so on the parent side, um, Fred can, Fred has gotten an invitation from me so to, and he can say, yes, I want to join this calendar. And then his Google Meet is sitting right there. Fred can also go to his calendar and Fred, in Fred's schedule, it says right here, hey, you got a parent teacher conference at 640 to 650. Fred clicks on that and there's his join with Google Meet. So we are making Google do all the work. You just got to front end load just a little bit on your calendar side um, by making appointment slots. So then I would um, go and make appointment slots in the 29th also. You can send that link to the parents that you want to have that link. All right. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. It was a lot of information, but it should hopefully work super slick.